day one of taking Zoloft. So it's the end of the day. I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah. So I might as well record what the hell's going on here. Got prescribed. I got prescribed Zoloft the other day yesterday because I went to see my doctor to give me uh, refills on my lorazepam because I suffer from panic attacks. And lately, I've been getting them more than usual lately, which is not normal because I'd never gotten them before. And he asked me like, oh, are you suffering from depression? Like me, I only suffer from like a mild depression, but not too much. But since I'm suffering from, from more than panic attacks here and there, he prescribed Zoloft. <laughs> Side effects include you're, uh, you may want to have suicidal thoughts. What kind of drug? Seriously? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> but first day, I took it in the morning with my breakfast. Felt it right away from going to work. I fell asleep. No, I, I, I felt so tired. And then when I was at work, I was so drowsy and fatigued more than usual. I just wanted the day to be over. And I was just tired, so, so tired. I was like almost falling asleep in my desk half the time. Came home, barely hungry, ate something, not too much. Notice with the Zoloft, I'm not eating that much, which uh, I guess is a good thing. But one of the side effects is lack of, lack of hunger. Yeah, but now it's the end of the day. I'm going to go to sleep because I've been just feeling really tired the entire day. And I call my pharmacist when I was at work because I'm going like, yo, is it normal to be this tired all the time? She was like, yeah, that's a side effect. I was like, can I take this at night? Because apparently I'm at work here and I'm just going in and out and I'm, yeah. She goes like, yeah, you can take it at night. So the next dosage, instead of taking it in the morning, take it at night before you go to bed. Hey, if it makes me fall asleep, I can take it at night and just go to sleep. I'll be good. So that's the first day. The second day tomorrow, which will be like in 30 minutes from now because it's 1130. So midnight the next day when it's nighttime comes along. When before I hit the bed, before I go to bed, I'm going to take the Zoloft. And like, yeah, it's what they're saying is going to do some changes going to be happening soon. We'll see. Because I felt the tiredness, but yeah. And I thought I wasn't depressed at all, but like when I get some bad news, it feels like the end of the world for me. Because uh, I would just like sit there and just think about it for like minutes on end. Yeah. Definitely got to try this Zoloft thing, but that's the first day of Zoloft. See you next time for like day two at night. All right, bye. As soon as I start recording, he stops beeping with the truck. I don't know why I wanted to record that. I'm just stupid. All right, day two of being on Zoloft. So I took my Zoloft last night instead of taking it in the morning. Like. It helped out a lot because, like, Zoloft taking it at night. Why is that guy still parked? He's been there for five minutes. So I took it last night to help me sleep because it makes you drowsy and all that stuff. It's better than doing it in, in the morning because I got shit Because I'm going to edit that out. Remember future me? Uh-uh. You didn't say the magic word. So, yeah, now that I was, like, when I got here, the guy's still parked there. Come on, dude. Yeah, okay. What was I saying? So it's... Uh, oh, finally he leaves. Good. But yeah. Go. Drive off. Good, he's driving off. So, I don't know why I'm so distracted today. But yeah. Instead of taking it in the, in the morning, it's like, usually I get like, so much fatigue and drowsiness because like, the first day I took it, I went to work and I was like falling asleep. 
So I'm taking it at night, so it's officially the next day. So it should be the third day, but it's technically the second day for me. So I fell asleep, it all was well. And now this morning, the only change I see is like that. I have this sudden urge to vomit, but it not really vomit. I don't know if that's normal, cause like, but okay. But other than that, it's okay. It's like, that's day two so far. And I know it's with Zoloft, like you're less hungry. I'm still waiting on the more energized part, cause yeah. But that's only day two, cause I'm on like 25 milligram. And once I'm done this dosage, I get, I get up to the 50 milligram. So that's gonna be um, sort of fun, I guess. But yeah, day two of being on the Zoloft so far is like just the need to vomit, but not really. But that's pretty much it. Anyways, on to day three. Bye. So, day three. I don't have the constant urge to vomit anymore. Yesterday was the whole day. It was a constant urge to vomit. But nothing ever came out. Because I wanted to, but today, I'm just tired, don't want to do anything. Maybe it's because the weather outside is just gloomy, because it's raining, it's not sunny. But I just feel tired today. That or the fact that I was out the whole day today, yesterday. I went to work, and then after work I went to this show I went to see. Got home around 11. Went to bed, didn't get to sleep much, but today woke up, did some things. But yeah, day three of the Zoloft. Uh, I'm not really that hungry. I, I woke up this morning, didn't eat breakfast until like an hour later. Usually I eat breakfast right away. Even when I was eating my cereal, I was like, didn't want to eat it, but I ate it anyway. <laughs> now, like, yeah, don't really, I, I have no... There's no really no uh, appetite. Plus, I said I'm just gonna go to sleep for a while, cause I'm I don't know. I just gotta catch some rest, man. But yeah, that's day three uh, on the Zoloft. Anyways, take it easy. Bye. Day four. So the fourth day is going okay. Less tired, but also and the vomit the. Sudden urge to vomit is back again. Kind of been feeling like that the whole entire day. But hold up, oh yeah. Other than that, I gotta say I got more energy, a little bit, because I go to the pool before I went on Zoloft. It was such a chore to me for to go to the pool. Now I went to the pool, it wasn't such a chore. I found it relaxing. And usually I would go like one lap, two laps, take a breather. And go another lap and another lap, take a breather. But on the third day, yesterday, 8 o'clock, I went to the pool. I went one, two, three, four. I was like surprised myself. Oh, yeah. It was like a sudden burst of energy. Took a break, but not too much, like, like 10 seconds. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, take a break. Then 9, 10, take, finish my first set. Then I would do my second set, which I would go halfway. But this time I went the full way. One, two, three, four. Take a break. Five, six, seven, eight. Take a break. Nine, ten. Finish my second set. Usually, uh, yeah, that's when I'm done. But I got out. I wanted to do more, but yeah. But yeah, that's uh, probably next time I'll go to the pool. i probably do like three sets instead of my usual two. Well, one and a half. But yeah, that's what happened. But today, I have a constant urge to vomit. Like, not really hungry, but I have to eat. Because I ate something today. Then I had something for lunch. Then I went to my parents' place today. Ate something there, didn't eat much. But the salad was great. Oh yeah, I've been noticing I've been losing a lot of weight. Because when I first started this, I was at 315, 311, around there. Weighed myself this morning, 308. Oh, 
that's a good thing. I'm trying to get down some more because, like, I need to lose this weight, man. Oh, yeah, the big thing I noticed is, like, I'm not, I'm, I don't, like, I'm not worried. It's like, okay, usually I have these computer problems. I get my buddy to help me out because he's the computer whiz and he helps me out with a lot of stuff. And whenever he does something, like, I'm just sitting there, like, stressed out of my mind. He was helping me yesterday, and I was in this mood where I just was up on top of the world, like, was not even stressed out, just happy, just talking to him, like, laughing. Usually I don't do that. But, yeah, I had, like, this no give a, don't give a fuck attitude, which I noticed. But that's, yeah. But today... I've been, like, stressed out like a motherfucker lately, but I haven't even felt that lately. So who knows? I'm on my fourth day already. But anyways, just to let you know, that's what's going on. End of day four. See you on day five. Day five on Zoloft. Man, I am just tired today. I don't want to do anything. Although, I'm not hungry, but sort of hungry. Did I eat something and I'm still hungry, but I don't really want to eat anything. Because I just ate like some fruit a couple of seconds ago. And yet I'm still hungry. Like my stomach is in the middle of like saying, dude, you're you're not hungry, but eat something. And when I do eat something, I don't want to eat it. But I have to eat anyway. And then after I'm still hungry. I don't know, man. It's, or maybe it's just today because it's shit weather. But yeah, day five of this, still kind of tired. Took a nap today. That helped out a bit. Really don't want to do anything today. Yeah. Oh, just really tired. So that's basically it for uh, day five. Just massively tired. Also, I was supposed to go today get a package from UPS. Turns out it was closed because it's a national holiday. <laughs> Shit. All right. That's it for day five. Take it easy. Day six of Zoloft. I woke up this morning, weighed myself. I'm a little bit depressed because I got was like I'm four pounds more weight. Before I was at 308, I, this morning I was at 312. Yeah, four pounds. Yeah. Must have been yesterday where I was constantly hungry, not hungry. Where I kept on eating stuff. Like little things here and there, but... Yeah, more than usual. Like I ate more than usual than before. But yeah, today I didn't do anything because it's a holiday. and Nothing was open, so just stayed home. Watched Orange is the New Black season six and caught up with that. Just basically doing nothing. And tonight will be the last day I have my 25 milligram of Zoloft. After that, I will have to go up to the 50 milligram because that's what my doctor wants. So tonight's the last night. I take my 25 milligram and then tomorrow night I'll take 50 milligram and I'll see how it goes from there. But right now, I'm going to get back to watching Orange is the New Black because that's all I want to do right now. <laughs> it's like I lay down in bed just doing nothing. Got to go to work tomorrow do something because I need to do something. <laughs> Anyways, take it easy, guys. Bye. Day 7. Oh my god, I'm not liking this at all. I'm feeling all of it today. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, today is the last day I'm going to have 25 milligram. Tonight I'm going to start with the 50 milligram because that's how it is. Oh my god, this, this day. I've been like having dry mouth the entire day, super fatigued, low on energy, did not want to go to work, went to work. Although I do got to say the anxiety is gone. That's a plus, but I'm going to have to deal with all this other side effect until I get used to all this shit. I, I, I was like drowsy the entire day, I needed to go use the bathroom a lot, taking a bunch of dumps until I felt better. 
uh, one hour into work, I was right. I was like, I had the intense. Just, I just needed to vomit a lot, but I held it in. I was like, I was getting uh, heat flashes, maybe. But luckily, I have a fan with me at work in my locker. Because when I'm at my desk, when it's hot days, I just turn it on. So that helped out a bit. It came to the point, like an hour in, where I had to ask my supervisor if I can go to the pharmacy across the street to get me some chocolate bars and chips because I'm low on energy. So I did that. That helped out a bit. That did help out after all because I bought like a Mars Twix and another chocolate bar. Really helped out, but I gotta be careful with that because, like, if because, like, I'm on borderline diabetes here because this is how it started in the first place a long time ago when I was super tired. This was before when I had Ranapril and, like, my doctor upped my dosage and I was super tired and I was getting really, really dizzy whenever I stood up. So, for I almost got diabetes because I had like two pops a day and a bunch of chips. So I had to cut that out because, like, I lowered my dosage on my ramen pro and that helped out a lot. But today, like, yeah, having chips and chocolate, a lot of sugar, got to be careful because I can't be doing that all the time because I don't want to get diabetes. But, yeah. But that helped out a bit, even though I wasn't hungry, but it helped it help out a lot. Uh, now I'm just kind of tired, although I have noticed I've been walking faster lately because before I used to walk, like, really slow. But yeah, now I'm waiting to go home. I'm going to crash on the bed. It's been too long of a day for me. But today has just been horrible, man. Oh, God. Like, it got hit with everything today. Ah. Hopefully taking a 50 milligram tonight will help me be energized tomorrow. I wanted to go to the pool today, but I have no energy. Yeah. Well, like I said, other than that, the anxiety is gone. At least that's helping out. Because, yeah, it just sucks that I go through all these side effects and all that stuff. But yeah, that's day seven. The worst day is today. Uh, anyway, see you guys on day eight. <laughs> we'll see how it is. Bye. Day eight. The eighth day. So, first day was the 50 milligrams little bit better less tired because the other days before I was just extremely tired but yeah in sense a difference with uh, something going on but still I didn't really want to go anywhere unless well the thing is I didn't want to go anywhere until I opened the blinds in my window and I saw how sunny it was then I wanted to go stuff then I wanted to go out and stuff but when I had my blinds closed because I was it's like watching Netflix and all that stuff I was just tired went to take a nap but as soon as I opened those blinds and I saw the outside I had like some energy also I went down to the pool because I missed out on going to the pool for two days because of how tired I was found out that the pool is under maintenance so fuck me I guess I gotta start going to the local pool in my area because I don't want to like lose my pool schedule again because getting back on the routine was hard as hell the first time around no the second time around because the first time going to it was really hard second time really hard so this would be like the third day of not going to the pool but I gotta figure out when to go to the pool or at least go for a walk and stuff but anyway I gotta go to work tomorrow that'll be good Hopefully I'll be less tired. But this 50 milligram thing is really helping out. And also less hungry, but I have to eat something because you cannot eat nothing all day. Yeah. That's about it. I'm going to go make myself something to eat soon before going to bed. I'll make myself some eggs or something and watch the rest of Orange is the New Black. I'm on the final season. That Alvarez guy is hilarious, though. Uh, but yeah, I like the 50 milligrams now. At least it kind of make me... I can feel something, is what I'm saying. But I just want these two weeks to be over, man. 
because I heard the first two weeks are rough. Uh, so come on with me to my journey for 30 days more, or whatever the hell it is. So see you on day nine or whatever it is. I just completely forgot. Take it easy. Bye. Day nine. So today started out this morning kind of like meh. No, I had energy. It's just for some reason I felt really goddamn emotional when I went to work because I started feeling thinking about my grandma and stuff. And then, I, yeah, I just got emotional and just a little bit, tiny bit stressed, but not as much as before. But I got over that, went to work, kind of tired, didn't fall asleep, but needed to go use the bathroom a lot. No dry mouth, but taking dumps way too much. Um, walking faster, so that's a plus. Other than that, all is going good. Uh, I guess it's all going good. Day nine so far, not bad, because, uh, oh my god, still no, the pool is still down. I gotta do something about that. I gotta start going into the gym tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah, nine, the ninth day, I don't know what else to say. I'm just saying there's nothing much to say. But I'm just documenting all this stuff. What else? Nothing so far. Nothing so far at all. All right, take it easy, guys. Bye. Day 10. I'm beginning to see a lot of new things with this uh, 50 milligrams of uh, Zoloft. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not tired. I'm less lazy than before. Whenever I need to get someplace, I don't feel stressed the fuck out. I like it. I actually want to do shit. And I'm walking faster because before when I used to walk faster, I would get stressed out just by walking like half a block. Now I just go full on boom and I'm all right. This is good. Less hungry. Controlling my hunger. But yeah, these 50 milligrams are really helping out. Except that it's kind of hard to sleep at night sometimes. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta figure that shit out. But yeah, I do have energy. I do want to do things. I feel less depressed than before. Went to go see a comedy show, which I usually do. I had a good time. Yeah. I'm still in, uh, yeah, the 10th day, I just feel good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See you the next day. Bye. Day 11. I'm doing this in the dark because I'm going to bed. And I almost forgot to do this. So look into my eyes, you sexy beasts. You sexy motherfuckers. <laughs> but yeah. Day 11. Really great day. Went to work. A lot of people. Would have been stressed out, but nah. I was a little bit dehydrated because so I was talking too much because these people just wouldn't shut the hell up. But yeah, I got over that. I got to drink some water and all that stuff. Basically, no stress at all. I'm beginning to like this no stress thing. Trying to get some sleep, though, because... Uh, it's kind of hard to get the sleepness. But anyways, that's it for today. It's like nothing much to say. Onwards. Day 12. So, another day. Another day less stress. No stress at all. All I have to say, the stress has gone away. I feel better. Like, a whole ton better because like, I just remember, like, when I had the stress every goddamn day, I'd be stressed out about something, which I never really was stressed before, until all the surgeries and all the bullshit started happening. But yeah, I don't, I don't feel like that anymore, like, because I actually, I walk faster now, because, like, I used to walk slower, because if I walk faster, I would get panic attacks. But now I was like, yeah, that's all gone. Uh, mentally... I feel good. Like, uh, I'm eating less than... Oh, I noticed I'm eating less than before because I did not notice how much uh, I ate 
I'm, wait, no. Before I ate a, a ton, I'm beginning to see that I'm losing some weight here, which is a good thing. Because uh, before the, I started these pills, I would be eating so much. I've been saving a lot of money too. I'm surprised. Because uh, I, wow, I just spend money on food all the time. And I'd be constantly eating because of the stress and being like that. With these pills, like, I'm less hungry. I eat, like, I'm eating cereal in the morning, man. I barely eat that stuff. And then I just have a sandwich and I'm done. And I, then later on, dinner, I have one thing and then I'm done. Because usually I would have, like, a big ton of food in between. Yeah. But yeah, day 12 is going good. See you on day 13 and 14. Take it easy. Bye. Day 13. Unlucky day 13. No, not really. So I went for my doctor's appointment today because he wanted to see me how I was doing after prescribing me Zola for like two weeks now. I told him I'm feeling better. Like, no, I haven't had any panic attacks or any uh, anxiety attacks. Which is good. I notice a lot of change in my behavior. Like I'm way less depressed. Like I don't get pissed off or irritated as easily. Because when I used to play games on PlayStation 4 and I would lose. I would lose my shit and get really depressed. Now I just play games. I just. When I lose I don't really care. It's just that my mind goes like yo man. Fuck it. It's just a game man. So I just restarted in. Do it over. I just sigh and go on my merry way. Which is kind of good. Uh, yeah, so I'll get to see him in four more weeks. And also have to see him like if I need to uh, uh, get more of my Zoloft refilled. Because I can't just phone over. Because when we get our medicine here, is you can phone in and say, like, oh, I need a refill and they'll deliver it to you. Now with Zoloft, you got to go to the doctor's office and say you need a refill and then... They'll refill it there. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, so what else besides that? Everything going fine. Uh, yeah, like I said, on Zoloft, I've never realized how much I ate before before Zoloft. Because now I'm eating less and the doctor said, like, yeah, it helps out with depression. So I never realized how much depression helped me out with, like, I never realized how much depression really uh, made me eat a lot before. But yeah. That's a good thing. Let me need less because I'm not really that hungry. Yeah, because I'm not having depression. Yeah. Oh yeah, and also instead of taking uh, my pills at ten o'clock at night, I'm gonna. I took them at six p.m. today since my. I told my doc like, I take them at ten, but it takes me uh, forever to go to sleep. But eventually I do fall asleep. He was like, yeah, take it at six. That way when you go to bed you'll be good. Uh, so yeah, I'm taking it at six right now today. Going to bed later on, see how it goes, see if I can fall asleep right away. Yeah, I think I will, because like the first day I took it in the morning, and then when I went to bed, because I was extremely tired, I just got knocked out. So, yeah, pretty sure I'm going to be knocked out. Anyways, day 13, on to day 14. See you guys, bye. Day 14. So, yeah, I'm doing okay. Went to work, doing good, less hungry, I see losing a little bit of kind of weight, not eating as much as before, um, yeah, just having a grand old time, walking faster, feeling energetic, uh, yeah, that's basically it, I just gotta cut the beard soon, and get a haircut, it looks so scraggly. But yeah, day 14, going so good so far. And uh, yeah, I got a shitload of stuff in the fridge. And I haven't eaten some of that yet. My mom came and gave me some food. And I still haven't eaten it because I'm not that hungry. Which is good. So on the second day, I'm going to take my pills at 6 p.m. Went to bed yesterday. It, w it went all right. Still trying to get used to the 6 p.m. thing. But other than that, I'm doing good. So that's day 14 going. Anyways, 
Day 15. Next one. Bye. Day 16. Wow. Check out your boy here. Fresh new haircut. Feeling mighty good. Yeah. Wonders what a fucking haircut can do for you. The beard looking all nice and trim. Not looking so bushy-tailed. Also, let me just let you just... I've been telling you that my appetite has changed over a couple of days. I'll show you what. I'll show you how. This is my fridge. Look at all this food that's still here. I still got that Chinese food I haven't touched in like a week and a half. My mom made me this homemade soap by Pia's like three days ago. I would eat all of this the entire bag in like the first two days and I still have a ton left. She also made me some homemade cake. I haven't even touched this. I would eat in this in two days. But yeah. I still got that soup that she made me. Got some watermelon. Still got them grapes. And whatever food she gave me here. Yes, my mom makes me food sometimes when she's around the neighborhood. Yeah. That is just a total change. Even though I noticed that I don't eat that much. Because like that's good because like my appetite is less than before. And like I said, being depressed, you make me you just want to eat a lot. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, take it easy, people. Bye. Day 17. I think I caught a flu yesterday. I don't know how, because I was feeling fine. Then I went to go get a haircut as soon as that shit happened. I've been having a runny nose and headache ever since. And I've been, like, fighting it ever since, like, getting cough medicine. And I've just been, like, laying in bed all day. Well, not all day, just... Watching a lot of Better Call Saul, finishing up Stranger Things. Yeah, plus I'm a little bit tired today. Maybe it's because I took a sleeping pill yesterday because I wanted to get some good sleep. But yeah, that's pretty much what how I am today. Uh, yeah, nothing else to say. That's report. No much to report here. Anyways, see you guys the next day. Bye. Day 18. Feel really good today. Went to visit my parents. Had some barbecue. Felt really good. Went to a wrestling show. Had some energy. It was like... The appetite is... Um, whatever. But yeah. I eat something over there at my parents' place. Even though I ate something at home. But I didn't eat as much as before. Because I would eat like two ribs. And I was done after that. But yeah. So far so good. On to the next day. Bye. Day 19. So today I went to the bar to watch pay-per-view. Just got home. Uh, usually when I go to this bar, I would eat a ton of food. Not today. I only ordered like $19 worth of food. Like a burger, a salad, and some pretzels. Because they had specials like a $4 burger, a $4 pretzel, and whatever how much the salad was. But usually beforehand, like I would like... Get some wings, two orders of wings, burgers, some fries, all that stuff. But no, it's pretty good that I didn't eat that much. Like I said, my appetite is not as much as what it was before. But so far, going good. Oh, by the way, usually when I go up the stairs, I would like freak out, be paranoid and shit, because I would have like a panic attack. Today, none of that, which is a good thing. Holy shit, this Zoloft is working good. Because I would go up the stairs and... I'd be on top and I look down and I feel nothing. I'm not getting no panic attacks. I'm feeling all dandy. I'm back to how I was before. When all this started. I'm that's awesome. And going down the stairs really quickly. Working on that. But other than that, it's a pretty good showing. But yeah, I'm I'm this is improving. I, I like it. It's like I'm getting I'm, oh my god, I don't know what else to say, but on to the next day. Bye. Day 20. So I just went back to the pool because the pool is finally open again. I had to wait like a week and a half. No, wait. Two Sundays ago, so two weeks ago. Yeah. 
It's like I haven't missed a beat ever since. If I wasn't on Zoloft, I'd be like tired as fuck right now. But no, but I didn't do two laps as I did before. No wait, two sets. I usually do two sets. But since I haven't been here in two weeks, I only did one set, but I went by pretty quick. Next time I come here, I'll do two sets to get my rhythm back. But other than that, without the Zoloft, I would've been tired as fuck and I would've quit halfway through. But so far going good. Uh, yeah, other than that, nothing else to say, but yeah. Gonna dry off, uh, go back to the apartment, watch some cinematic Venom, go check him out on YouTube. He's fucking amazing. Dude needs some more subscribers, man. <laughs> I'm watching his 1001 movie reviews. You gotta see before you die, but yeah, this guy's good, man. This guy's good. Yeah, but other than that, uh, so far, it's all I can think about is like, yeah, good time at the pool, day 20 of, of on Zoloft, so yeah. I was gonna make this like 30 days, but I'm gonna stop it right here so you can guys know what's going on. Uh, so yeah, for my 20-day journey, and I'll keep you updated once here or there about what's going on with the Zola. But anyways, take it easy, guys. Bye.